Hello, I'm Edward Tart. This is a Mr. Music presentation. John Philip Sousa was an American original, composer of symphonic works, operas, operettas, but above all, marches. In the year 1880, at age 26, Sousa became conductor of the United States Marine Band. A few years later, he became known as the March King. At age 38, he formed his own band, and it became the best band in the world. In seven years, it gave over 3,500 concerts. In 40 years, it traveled over a million miles. Sousa said that a march should make a man with a wooden leg step out. In this concert, we will hear eight of Sousa's finest marches. We begin with a march by which Sousa wanted to express our nation's friendship toward other nations. Hands Across the Sea. Next, the Sousa March that became the official march of the United States Marine Corps. Sousa considered this to be his finest march. Its Latin title is the motto of the Marines, Semper Fidelis, translated, Always Faithful.
And now, a march that Sousa wrote for his band's first trip to the American South. The occasion was the Cotton States Exposition in Atlanta. We hear King Cotton. <laughs> Sousa's band performed at a food fair in Boston, and it is said that Sousa was impressed by the beauty and charm of a young lady whom he saw at the fair. And so we have this fine march entitled, The Fairest of the Fair. Thank you. 
Now we have a march in honor of our nation's famous Liberty Bell. You may recognize this march as the theme music for the comedy TV show Monty Python's Flying Circus. Here is the Liberty Bell March. The Thunderer was the nickname of an unknown person who was probably a friend of Sousa. Sousa composed this march in his honor. The Thunderer.
Our next march is a march that made Sousa famous and that also made a great American newspaper famous. This march also became very popular with dancers. Here is the Washington Post March. Finally, we hear Sousa's most famous and most popular march, honoring our nation's flag. This march stirs our nation's patriotic spirit as no other music does. We hear the stars and stripes forever.
We have heard eight marches by John Philip Sousa. They were performed in London in the UK by the Royal Artillery Band, conducted by Keith Bryan. These were Noxos recordings, Noxos, the world's leading classical music label, used here with written permission of Noxos. I invite you to visit the Noxos website, noxos.com. This has been a Mr. Music presentation. Thank you for listening.